All right, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit more special. We're going to be talking about Throne and Liberty. So, since the game is literally supposed to be launching in a few hours, as in actual release, all right? I'm waiting. I got it preloaded. If you plan on playing the game, especially on EU, do let me know. Um, what this video is going to be about is, well, specifically about information. So, kind of made a small guide of condensed uh, info that you're going to be needing, okay? So, let me start off by actually reading. <laughs> so, if you plan on playing Thrones and Liberty, you got to start here, okay? All right? So, it's a basic explanation and some stuff that I have kind of condensed over, I don't know, like 10 videos that I've watched. Very, very extensive videos of very useful information you need to know when you start the game off, okay? So, crafting mats. Very important. Do not waste them. Save your mats. Um, the progression of the upgrades for your items goes from green, blue to purple. Purple being the very rare or epic, I believe, actually. So, what you're gonna be doing is... Um, <clears throat> here's the TLDR on this. Don't rush into blue equipment. First, you're gonna have to... Make sure you max out your current green equipment, okay? Your green, your green equipment doesn't really matter all that much. But uh, your traits do. So save whatever traits are good. And I'm going to tell you right now. Because your green equipment is going to be fed into your blue equipment, okay? So. Let me actually find the thing where I've... Uh, there we go. So these are the key stats and uh, the counters. Okay. I've kind of just condensed everything. Here's an image. Um, endurance crit damage reduction is basically what you need. Because it counters crit and crit damage. Heavy attack is countered by heavy attack evasion. Blah. But here's the thing. Endurance and damage reduction and skill damage reduction are basically the things you need. Or skill damage resistance, rather. Okay? And damage reduction. Because everybody's gonna be having hit chance. And heavy attack chance. So your evasion is basically useless. Okay? Just make sure you can resist the damage. That's what I'm getting at. And you're gonna be needing HP and max mana, some mana and HP regen. You know what I mean. Okay? So. Got a chart here. Unfortunately, it's kind of in Korean, but the gist of it is... A hundred of one stat, if you look at this. For example, uh, 100 of crit chance gives you a 9% chance to, you know... Or, or rather, 100 or... Let's say 100... Uh, let me actually read it. So, 100 of A stat gives a 9% chance of, well, whatever the stat is. And 500, okay, if you look up the chart a little bit, it's 500, which results in a 33%, for example, crit damage reduction. Or crit chance, if you know what I mean. I got some recommended websites here, if you want, okay. You can read uh, a lot of stuff here. There's a bunch of information here, okay. Good, good, good shit. Good shit. Okay, it's condensed info from the Korean server. And we have a character builder. Okay. Which I will show a little bit later. Actually, I should show it right now. So, remember I said, keep your greens and your blues. Keep them because your traits will be transferable. Okay. Your equipment, you need the equipment so you save on materials. So... Keep your greens to feed into your blues so you have higher upgrades. For example, a level 6 green upgrade would feed into your blue equipment and that would literally transfer like, I don't know, 2 or 3 upgrades. It, it's gonna make it like a level 2 blue or a level 3 blue equipment, okay? The thing is, you need a lot of equipment, okay? A lot of pieces to actually upgrade. So, uh, there are upgrade stones for these traits but you need duplicate equipment pieces to upgrade one of these equipments okay so essentially 
What you're gonna need to do is save on equipment, save on equipment with traits that matter to you. Okay? And um, use those instead of using these unlock stones. Okay? Because you're gonna be having some unlock stones. And these are very, very limited items as you get them as a sort of reward for something like achievements or something. I, I'm not quite sure I got it exactly, but I think that's basically the gist of it, okay? I don't have access to the game yet. It's not out yet and I have not played the Korean version. I mean, EU. I had no access. Anyway, I could have had it, maybe. Anyway. Um, you will need a lot of these stones. So save them for... I heard there are some arc boss weapons. Essentially, you want to save those stones for either your epic weapons, the purples, or these boss weapons, okay? Because weapons need more stones. And um, the more equipment you need to feed into a single piece, the more expensive it's going to get, okay? Especially for, for the boss weapons. Because they are even more expensive than your normal weapons. And weapons are more expensive than, in, than the rest of your equipment. Okay? So, save these stones because they're very, very limited. That's what I'm trying to get at. Again, TLDR, save equipment. Don't rush your progression. Save the stones for late game, basically. Okay? Uh, what you need to do is you need to feed your greens maxed upgraded into your blues, then feed your blues, maxed, upgraded, into your purples. Don't rush into purple equipment, it's bad, okay? It's gonna stall your progress, apparently. At least that's what everybody that has played on Korean server is saying. Don't do that, it's really, really bad, okay? Now again, we do have this website here. And um, there's a lot of stuff here that is being explained and builds and stuff. You can read it if you want. But essentially, from my understanding, anyway... Oh, let me actually find it. Where are you at? What you need is the weapon combinations, okay? So essentially, this is supposedly the tier list, okay? So, if you click on each individually... Over here is gonna tell you, well, some stuff. It's gonna tell you pros and cons. And for example, Great Sword, Sword and Shield is basically a tank. You're basically a tank in raid. <laughs> you have no ranged attacks. There's like no... um. You're just basically there as a meat shield, okay? You have basically no mobility. You have no uh, range. You know what I mean. So you can read like that, okay? Now, I'm probably going to be playing as a Dagger Crossbow, which is why I made a build for that specifically. Okay, this is not available just yet. Um, I'm still looking into it, but essentially, your stats, you want to get to at least a 50, okay? That's what matters. So, for example, for a Crossbow Dagger build, Dexterity and Wisdom are your main stats, okay? I'm going to be explaining off of what I got here. Now, the thing is, I went into Strength because it gives me some HP. I don't care necessarily about the damage reduction here because I'm basically playing as an Assassin. But I do want some survivability. So, I took uh, the Rex Chimera's Hunger here, which, well, heals me on attacks every 30 seconds. And then, um, there's also a bunch of... Let's see now. Could have sworn I had HP regeneration somewhere. Uh, I do have a lot of max health. There's the, the health regen. Okay. So, yeah, you can see how each piece of equipment has a lot of trait upgrades. Yes, those are upgrades. You have four upgrades for each individual piece, which means you literally need... Here's the thing. Some of these traits on your equipment are going to be locked, okay? You need one piece of equipment with a specific trait that you need, okay, to unlock said trait on one piece of equipment. So, if you have one piece of equipment with three slots, because three are your maximum number of slots that you will have, three slots on one piece, 
you will need at least 11 other pieces of the same exact equipment duplicates okay which is why i said save your stones for your weapons don't waste the stones okay so they're called unlock stones and they they are very limited okay you can't buy them they're they're not pay to winnable you need to earn them they're they are rewards okay save them for weapon trades they are expensive okay and uh, switching out undesired traits is even more expensive. Like, I've seen switching out a single trait go up to like 600 of these stones, which is silly, actually. This game is very, very grindy in that aspect, okay? Now, if you know you don't have a guild, and you know you can't put in the time to pursue an arc boss weapon, just use your stones on a weapon of your choice and stick to that weapon, okay? You need two weapons in this game. This is basically kind of like Archage. Like Archage, excuse me. So, damage and survivability is basically what you want, okay? Keep your blue and your green equipment that has the following traits. You're gonna need these. These are especially important within the game, apparently. So you got hit, crit hit, heavy attack chance, max health, Skill damage boost and resistance, debuff duration or buff duration, in my case. Endurance for melee, ranged, and the magic damage. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I think that's basically all you kind of need to know. Just don't waste your materials, is basically what I'm getting at. You need to stick to the same weapon combination you have from the start. Otherwise, you're literally stalling your own progress. Do not switch, okay? It's very, very important that you find a weapon combination that you like at the start of the game. So basically just do your research before you make your character. <laughs> that's, that's basically what I'm saying. Especially if you are not paid to win. If you're free to play, this is going to be even more annoying for you. I'm going to be free to play as well. So I'm trying to literally teach you how to play the game so uh, from my understanding dagger combination uh, classes are the best this game doesn't have actual classes by the way it uses something similar to the uh, weapon skill system in uh, guild wars 2 okay and yeah you're gonna be learning based off of your weapons okay so your skills are literally tied to your weapon it's exactly like in guild wars 2 Except there you have some other skills as well, which are not weapon tied, but yeah, you get what I'm saying, okay? So, again, before you switch to blue gear, max out your green gear so you maximize the experience dump, okay? So, these classes, these weapons, they're very important. You need to pick a playstyle that suits you at the beginning of the game. I'm either going to be playing Dagger Crossbow or Dagger Staff. Because, um, especially if you're a solo player, you need something that's good in PvE content. And something that's good in uh, solo roaming, okay? So, Dagger, very good. Very usable in 1v1 situations for escaping. Very mobile, very strong, high burst. You, you know what I'm saying. It's basically your rogue, okay? But you need ranged options, okay? Don't stick to full melee, you're gonna you're gonna be bad. You're gonna have issues, okay? Because a lot of people are using long bows and staffs. And bows in general, okay? Crossbow, staff, longbow. Very used. Very, very used in this game. PvP is apparently very, very important because there's also leaderboards. So it's gonna be a very competitive game, okay? Alright, I think I basically kind of said everything. The information is here. There's your tier list. A lot of info here. Uh, I bas I've basically kind of just condensed everything I've had dumped here into this video. Okay? 15 minutes. If you want a hardcore min-max, you got all the info here if you, if you feel like reading through it. Okay? 
But yeah, this is basically the gist of it. You can make Lucent, which is your premium currency, by selling stuff on the auction house. Usually you sell trades, from my understanding. You can remove the trade from a piece of equipment and sell it on the auction house for Lucent. Again, that is the premium currency, okay? In the process of removing the trade from the equipment, the equipment, the piece of equipment, is lost. So, just make sure you, <laughs> you have equipment. Because it's gonna be lost, okay? Alright, and again, keep in mind... The EU and US servers... The content we got, we got on release is gonna be at least like a year behind Korea. From my understanding. So, complaining about it is literally not gonna matter. <laughs> Just play the game, alright? And, um... I don't know if I should make this character I got here public or not, but... Do let me know if you want to feel it, you know? I I may just make it public. You know what? Eh. This is basically just a fighter fighter rogue. Remember um World of Warcraft? I think it's a battle rogue or whatever they call it. You know? You know what I mean with a bunch of life steal and, and such? Anyway. I'm sure they got something similar in WoW. You got your skills here. Specialization and stuff. Um, You're basically gonna be using Inject Venom a lot with a build like this. Okay? Especially with Lightning Infusions. Okay? Because it decreases melee ranged and magic endurance per stack by 20 stacks 20 times incredibly powerful <laughs> strong stuff strong stuff is i feel like this class is gonna be high apm if you don't know what apm is it's actions per minute because um i got 0 44 seconds attack speed i feel like that's pretty high i feel like that's really really high because i'm thinking this is like two attacks a second or something similar to that. Two attacks and the, the third is about to start. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little condensed information guide for the game. Oh, if you do plan on playing, let me know. Hop on Discord. You know where to find me.